Well, gold prices continue to take a hit. We are still seeing Gold Exploration here to talk to us about his gold exploration company is Richard Whittall. He is the CEO of New Strike Capital. Richard, thanks for being here with us. Joe, thanks for having me. Richard, a report came out today that says New Strike Capital, your company, is looking to sell itself to a Chinese state-owned enterprise. Um, actually, I think that might be a little bit of a head of, a head of itself. Um, I hadn't seen this report, but um, it's always been our business plan, ultimately, probably to partner to sell to an, a producer. But I can say that that's not accurate okay. at this point. So you would say, though, right now, New Strike would be open to uh, to selling itself. I think it's a public company and the shareholders, but we're at a greatly depressed price, and I think, like most mining companies, we wouldn't entertain anything at this point. Okay, and so right now you can't confirm those, no, those I, reports. No, I can't confirm it. Okay, but thanks for asking. <laughs> well, New Strike, uh, one of your big. Uh, locations of exploration. It's in Mexico, Guerrero, Mexico. Um, what kind of size are we talking about here? Well, this is an emerging gold belt in Mexico. It's about four hours from Mexico City. And it is uh, home today of the largest gold producer in the, in the uh, largest gold mine in the country. Uh, Penasquito is, um, is going to eclipse it, but the Los Filos project that gold is owned by Gold Corp is producing about 335,000 ounces a year mm -hmm. at very low cash cost. And the next big deposit, which is in advanced development, is Torex, uh, the Morales project. And last month, we announced um, our first uh, maiden resource, and we're another multi-million ounce deposit with, uh, it looks like, pretty good economics to it. Okay. Now, this is also work with Gold Corp, is that correct? No, we, um, we started life by selling our original business to Gold Corp. Okay. And then, um, and then we ended up buying a property, the project we're working on now. We bought it three years ago in July from Gold Corp. And uh, we got quite fortunate in what we found on it. So we made a discovery in early 2011. And then that's morphed into a pretty compelling multi-million ounce deposit today. Mm -hmm. And lots of legs left. Our exploration, um, to put it in perspective, this is 88,000 hectares. Um, I think we've done one half of 1% of our entire mineral claim holdings in Guerrero. So when we're looking at the senior miners, the space of senior mining stocks are having a difficult year. Uh, junior miners, it seems like anyone in the gold space having a very tough year. Sure. What would you say to people who are looking to invest in the space uh, that they need to understand about gold exploration companies the size of yours? Great question. It's a very risky business. Okay. And, and one of the things, the air has come out of the tires, and this is a cleansing, and I would go so far as to say it's an absolute scrubbing. Um, at this point, you have to be very, very careful what company you buy in the junior space. Um, we're lucky, lucky enough to be solvent. We have about $20 million in the bank, but many, many companies in Canada and globally of the junior size are running out of money. And mm. the uh, equity markets are simply not open to them at this point. We don't have any revenues uh, like every other junior company. There's 2,400 of them listed on the venture board in, in Canada. And we're going to see, it's a little frightening right now. However, the, si the other side of that is the contrarian side. Okay. And you need, um, if you buy quality, and I think we do have a very high quality project, um, it fairly advanced. So we've taken a lot of the risk out of it. We are solvent. We have enough burn uh, cash to, to survive for about 24 months, and we're in good shape. But I think you're going to see a lot of these companies disappear over the next, uh, if this market doesn't correct. But it presents a heck of an opportunity for, um, for investors, too, if you are it's compelling value. I would advise people probably go into the seniors and some of the better intermediates before they dabble in the juniors. Mm. You've got to do your homework on these things. Um, mm. and, and so to return to, uh, you said you feel like you guys have high-grade deposit. Uh, right. which, which would make you um, an attractive uh, opportunity for other companies looking to uh, possibly purchase New Strike Capital. No? Uh, absolutely. Okay. It's part of our business plan, and it's not dissimilar from other companies where you, our motto is basically to discover a partner or sell at some point. Okay. This is sort of a proven um, exploration model. Um, so uh, I can see how somebody might misinterpret that. Hmm. But um, 
really what happens at this point is it, it's a global business. So there are multiple companies out there with high quality projects. We happen to be in Mexico, which is a North American jurisdiction, a long history of mining in Mexico. It has um, terrific uh, fundamentals to this project. We do have this high grade core. And mining is a very capital intensive business. So if you're going to put in an expensive mill uh, to produce uh, gold, right. uh, you want a, as quick a payback as possible. Um, the old adage, which uh, serves us well in this and is present at Annapolis, which is our flagship property, mm -hmm. is great is king. And that works in a falling gold environment as well as a rising one. And so the economics in our case, the first four and a half years look terrific. So though you, you have said you're not familiar with the report that we mentioned at the top of this segment, uh, would you say that New Strike Capital is open to a sale? At some point, sure. Okay. I, I work for a board of directors and, and that board will tell me when it's time to, to move on. Uh, we've had a lot of interest over the years and, and the best thing you can do, I think, is open, um, is to share all that information with interested companies at any given point. But there's nothing new in that. Okay. Um, right. And so at the end of the day, I think that we are an attractive uh, deposit. Um, people are going to do due diligence on it, and if it's a fit, it's going to be a fit for any number of companies in the mining, in the producing space. All right, Richard. Well, thanks so much for being with us in the studio today. Joe, thanks for having me. Appreciate it. I'm Joe Dell, The Street.